Hello, church, and welcome to another daily devotional. Uh, I'm glad to see you. Uh, you're looking great. Uh, listen, in all seriousness, this week's topic is prayer. What a wide topic it is. I want to start off with a place that's fairly difficult. In Luke chapter 6, and it's also found in Matthew's gospel, chapter 6, 27, 28, it says, I say to all who of you who can hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you or abuse you is another translation of that. Now, let me read. Let me make sure that's really what that says. Yeah, that's really what that says. I'm sure you don't have this problem. But for me, there are a few people in my life over the years who, well, how would I describe them? I don't like them. Um, they're jerks. Uh, are they enemies? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, people, you know, that you think about, just you'd be happy if if they weren't very successful or things didn't go quite their way. You know, I remember several times in junior high and high school, there are a couple people. I can still see their faces now. I could tell you their names, but I'm not going to. Maybe they're listening. And the idea of blessing them or asking God to bless them and show favor to them is like nails on a chalkboard. No, I don't like those people. It's kind of like Jonah and the Ninevites, right? I don't want anything good to happen. No, these people have treated me. They've said horrible things about me, talked behind my back. They've done some awful things. They're just jerks. My grandfather used to say, kill them with kindness. And show compassion in the face of ugliness. I don't know if he did that because of his faith or not. I didn't ever get to meet him in person. This was passed down to me through my mother and my aunts and uncles. But I will say this. It is uncanny. It's a God incidence. That with every person growing up in school that I could not stand, almost every person, not all of them, but the ones I really took the time to ask God to help me see this person in a different light. Whether it was Jerry or Doug or Steve. Help me, God, to see something in them that you see. Help me to speak kindness to them, even if I'm not feeling it. Help me to begin to practice it. And Holy Spirit, over time, give me help feel it soften my heart towards my enemies and you know what happened in the course of time with those guys that i mentioned by name now were we best friends no but i'll be darned if god didn't show me things about each of those young men that made me see them differently that made me my reaction to them different and that helped me not only to pray for them but to mean it as my enemies i got some good news and some bad news the good news is that christ died for you and for me for forgiveness of all of our sins the bad news is christ did that for our enemies too and christ here's the even worse news Christ calls us to be just as forgiving and loving and compassionate and grace-filled to those same son of a guns. It's the calling card of a Christian. It's more than just lip service. Forgive my debtors as I've asked my debts to be forgiven. So how about it? Are you willing to pray? And I mean, not just pray heartfelt, but even if your heart's not there, from your mind, asking God to help you with the heart to catch up. 
I want to share with you. I know this one's going a little long. I want to share with you one last story. Copper Mine, Pennsylvania. About 12 years ago, maybe 2006, so maybe 14 years ago. Many of you recall that in Lancaster County, I believe it was, Amish country, a milkman had kind of lost it, abducted or took control of a schoolroom, an Amish schoolhouse, and sent the boys home, lined up the little girls, and ended up killing several of them. I believe he shot five of them. And the Amish went to his memorial, baked for his widowed wife as they buried their own daughters. And the news reporters that came down from the outside world said, what are you doing? You, kind of, you people crazy? Is this what Amish people do? They said, this is what Christ followers do. Yeah, but don't you want revenge? Aren't you angry? Aren't you sad? Aren't you upset? Aren't you heartbroken? Absolutely, we're all those things. And our emotions, we'd be lying to you if we said we weren't angry or didn't. Some of us harbor bitterness, but our practice of faith is to begin with forgiveness, to begin with prayer, even for those who threaten to take away everything we cherish. For it's God who models for us, while we were yet enemies, shows us love.